Hi, everybody, and welcome to my attempt this week on the BBO Weekly Free Instant Tournament. Um, I hope to be able, enable you to pick up some ideas about the play of the hand in the bridge. So it's in instant tournaments, weekly free instant tournament. Just to say, it really does help get these videos in front of other bridge players. If you, most directly, if you were at share the video with your fellow bridge players, um, but also if you subscribe to the channel or click like against the video, um, all those affect the um, YouTube algorithm um, in relation to them. So we're playing, as most of you know, it's about this is we're playing eight boards at match points um and we have the best hand at the table in terms of high card points nobody can have more high card points than us um so here we go we have 13 high card points nobody can have more um, north or east obviously have less otherwise they'd have opened the bidding but west could have 13 high card points still um so on the robot system, this is a simple enough one diamond opening with this shape because they play five card majors. And just, so partner north here is a robot with most hands with four spades and some points they would have doubled to show four spades. If they had six points, they definitely would. Um, but it may be that they have hearts and a few points, in um, which case they'd be able to do nothing here. Two clubs here. Um, this isn't forcing, but I can't really do anything about it. I assume double would be takeout. Um, that would promise four diamonds now. So I just got to pass here and see how things go. Well, there's two spades now three diamonds so it looks like they're going to try and get game because this generally is showing five hearts four spades and now this hand with three diamonds says they've got biddable diamonds and 11 to 12 total points so are they going to three now trumps um for which they don't really have the points and their major suits are breaking badly but they may be running quite a few tricks in clubs anyway let's pass and see where they go no very tempted to work out a double here they really shouldn't be making it um we know this hand can't have more than 11 points because they passed originally. They've opened with 12. This hand can't have more than 13 points. Um, this hand's only got four spades, probably, because they bid hearts first. If there were five, five, they bid spades and then hearts. And this hand can only have three spades. Um, otherwise, they would have raised spades more immediately. So... It looks like they can't. Okay, this, this hand having got biddable diamonds, this hand's going to be short in diamonds. And if they can run clubs, then we could be in some trouble. But if they make four spades, I think we're getting a bad score anyway. Although probably everybody's getting this bidding. I'm going to double. And No hearts there. So um, the question is, how many diamond tricks can we make? Well, two. See if we can get a third. Doesn't no. It doesn't look like it. Partners um, played low, high, but. We just want to get trump tricks now, don't we? We think. Uh, doesn't matter. 
essentially we need to get two trump tricks. It doesn't look as though West has a third diamond. Partner played low high, didn't play high low, which they ought to do with the doubleton, though the robots are a bit unpredictable. So I think we've got to play hearts. We'd like to get them stuck in the West hand. That's got what equally we'd like them to be roughing. So they are rough. Right, so we still now are hoping that we can get two spade tricks here. Right, so they only had one club. Oh, well, there's partner's queen of spades. Excellent. Um, and that's a hundred percent. So what's happened at other tables? Lots of four spades minus two. But essentially, this is a match points decision. Um, that although we know we're playing the robots, so most people will actually get the same sequence. Essentially, if they're making four spades, we'd expect to get a very bad score in match points because... We think most people wouldn't bid the game because they don't have the values for game. So we need to double to get the best score we can. And this hand here um, was definitely worth a double. We could see that they were in a 4-3 fit um, and that I had this, you know, there was always a reasonable chance I was going to make a couple of diamonds. So basically... Yes, we risk giving them a top if they made it. Um, but we were always getting a bad score if they made it. But we needed to get the top if they didn't make it. And they were much more likely that they wouldn't make it because we could see that they were in, I say, in this 4-3 fit and they didn't have enough points. So doubling was the sensible thing to do. Oh, it's very often a gamble that you're going to get a top or a bottom, but so long as it's more likely that you're going to get a top than you're going to get a bottom, then you should do it at match points. Um, that's essentially the system. So if you score 100% more often than you score 0%, then in the long run, you're going to be a winner. Of course, it may not be the case in you know, the short run of an eight board tournament. Um, and if this had been board eight and I'd been scoring 70%, I might well have passed in order to just preserve my um, position. But here, I think it was clear to double. So now we've got a big hand. We've got 19 points. We've got spades and hearts. And really, this is just too strong um, to do anything except open two clubs we're going to go to game in either hearts or spades or conceivably diamonds if part to show enough of them so we're going to bid two clubs here two diamonds from partner two spades from me so three spades says they got a fit with us um and it's forcing so it's stronger than four spades. In traditional ackle type circles, three spades would promise an ace, whereas four spades would deny an ace. That's the traditional view. Um, here, we've got the difficulty in that we're missing a, 
the club, so we've got a club void, and so the club ace in partner's hand is pretty useless, whereas the diamond ace would be very useful. So there is the robot, unfortunately, doesn't play something called exclusion key card backward, where a jump now to five clubs would ask them for key cards outside of clubs. So I basically need to still, I think, be trying for a slam at this point because partner hasn't hasn't limited their hand yet. Um, two diamonds is just a waiting bid. So they could have easily have the points that we need for slam. So I'm going to make a Q bid um, in clubs. Let's see what they do. So four no trumps is blackwood for spades so i've got ace and king of spades are two key cards the ace of hearts is a third key card um i think now six clubs shows an odd number of key cards and avoiding clubs so i can make that bid and hopefully the robot can work out whether we need to be in six or seven spades Six spades, right? And we get the nine of diamonds lead. And that's the difficulty, as I thought might be the case. We may be dependent on the heart finesse here. We can throw away two hearts on diamonds eventually and a heart on the ace of clubs, but we will need a heart finesse to make the small slam. Unless, of course, they get a diamond rough, in which case we won't be making it at all. Um, drop the jack underneath the ace, try and deter them from playing them back. So we're all right um, in that respect. We just need to be careful about entries here. We need to keep at least the queen of spades as an entry to dummy. So let's draw trumps. And we've got five and four, nine. So they've got four. There's two of them gone. Um, we'll just draw them with the jack. Well, five of hearts from there. Well, was that because they've got lots of hearts to the king or because they don't have the king of hearts? Well, let's play the ten of spades. Just draw the last one. Let's trump unblock the king of diamonds. Remember, we had three diamonds opposite five. So um, that's eight. So they had five. Um, and they've now all gone. They were split three, two. It was when they won the ace of diamonds. Um, if they were playing a diamond back to rough, I would play low and they would just rough a loser. So I was safe to throw the king of diamonds underneath the ace if they were breaking 4-1 and they were getting their diamond rough. Anyway, I would still have, um, that would have gone, I would still have had um, king, ten and queen to draw the remaining diamonds. So I was safe to throw that away. So there's the king of diamonds. I'm going to cross over to dummy. Both throwing away hearts. That's not a good sign, really. I think this probably means the heart finesse is not working. Um, now the brown clubs. All right, so we're probably one off here, I think. Yep. So we get 10% for that, for what was a good slam. Um, yeah, there are quite a few of us. Oh, four, four spades plus one is obviously the common score. But the slam was... We would have said it was a 50% chance of the heart finesse, but obviously there's a risk of a diamond rough. Um, I don't think there was any chance of... Um, any end play, not once they've led the diamond. So 
back down to equal fourth place now, but I don't regret bidding the slam. The slam was a good slam. We now have 16 points, five hearts and four diamonds. Well, I'm going to stick to the robot system and not open one no trump. The robot will open one heart, one no trump from partner. Three diamonds, shows 18 to 21, so two diamonds is the bid, showing 12 to 18. Two hearts is just preference. Six to ten points. But they might only have two hearts. We've got 16 points, but they're not a great 16 points for a suit contract. They're better for no trumps in many ways. So really, we've just got to pass this. Ten of diamonds led. So this is interesting. When they lead the ten of diamonds, it means that East has the jack. Because if they had the jack and the ten, they'd lead the jack. But they're very likely that West has the nine. So that has three hearts and six points. So we don't want to be in game here. But entries to partner, there are not many entries to partner's hand. Only the king of diamonds, really. Possibly the king of spades, but playing on spades may give up a trick when the, if the opponents play them, they will um, have to give us a trick. So if I play low from dummy, East will play something and I'll have to win in my hand. And now what am I going to play? Really... There's nothing that I can play that's useful. I'd have to play probably the Jack of Hearts from my hand and hope that West would win and then play something else. I think that's probably what I'd to do. Ideally, I'd like to get to Dummy twice and lead Hearts twice. Playing East for either the yeah, East to have one of the King Queen at least, so that I wouldn't lose a trick. Two um I wouldn't lose two heart tricks. But that's not possible, really. I don't have two entries to dummy. So I'm going to win this in hand. With the ace, so that um the location of the queen is uncertain to each of them and I'm going to lead the jack of hearts and West didn't go up with it with an honour unfortunately so we're probably going to lose the king of hearts to West I have to hope that wasn't a singleton queen wasn't um the singleton with west so they have a trump winner at the moment what i'm going to do is try and get rid of my diamond loser so there's the jack but we're pretty sure the nine is with west and we're pretty sure the east is now out I'm going to lead a diamond. If they rough, they'll be roughing that loser. And if they don't, I'll win with the queen. And then I'll rough the eight of diamonds with the ten of hearts. So they've roughed that loser. With what would have been a winning trump anyway. So my queen of diamonds is a winner. They're drawing my last trump. Now remember, we had eight. So they had five. And they were split four one. So here's, so they've got no more trumps. I can trump that club. Cash the Queen of Diamonds. 
and thrown a club. They've both thrown clubs. And they've played a round of clubs. So there were four in dummy, one in my hand, which is five. So they had eight. They followed to a round of clubs. So they, they had eight and they both discarded clubs. But that still leaves them with two clubs each. So I've got to now be playing spades in some way. Um, does the auction give us any clues? West didn't overcall in spades. East never really had a chance to. Um, East had a sing. West had a singleton heart and four diamonds. And led a diamond. It's a reasonable chance that they're four 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 one and four spades, four one heart, four diamonds and four clubs. And that would give them. so that makes them slightly more likely to be holding the ace of spades. So we just have to try the two of spades. Very often go up with the ace if they had it. If I duck this, then these will win and play a club. I'll have to rough and I'll still have another club, I think. So I've got to go with the king. And they made it. So um, I might as well play a spade, just see if that does any good. I don't suppose it does. Seventy-one point four percent. Two arts. Somebody made two arts plus one and one. No trump did better. Well, they opened one. No trump to do that. They did. They opened one. No trump and didn't get a club lead. Presumably, no, got a, a heart lead very nicely. So, um, yeah, I think there's a. If you're playing the against the robots there was a lot to be said in opening that hand will no trump because they'll never believe you've got a singleton club until you fail to follow to it um so but i'm not trying to game the robots here i'm trying to get yeah raw lessons from the play of the hand well and in fact 71 percent has dropped us down to equal fifth place so all the people are in at least one of the people all the people above me did at least as well, and one of the people who was level with me did better. So they're probably the person who bid one no trump. So we've got 14 points here. Doubleton Diamond. Strangely enough, one of the alternatives to consider is one no trump. And in the protective position here, after one of a suit pass pass one no trump is 11 to 14 points not the 15 to 17 it would be if north bid one no trump over one diamond so it would show i've got the right number of points for that you don't promise a diamond stop um and i'd quite like the lead to come round to this and i've got this good club suit and then if I make all these six clubs in no trumps I make them at 30 points a time whereas in clubs I only make them as 20 points a time so I think uh, um, this diamond may only be a three card suit partner may have passed because they have diamonds so I'm going to bid one no trump here I don't think that's gaming the robots that's just what I do against a human opponent So partner's gone two diamonds, which is a transfer to hearts. So they have five hearts. So we're going to bid two hearts here, completing the transfer. Partner's going to pass. If they had any kind of invitation, we would have gone on. So there, 
Jack Tenant there. So we've got our two or three heart losers, a spade loser and a diamond loser. Doesn't look as though we can really get rid of the diamond loser. Partner's got eight points. We've got our 14, so that's 22. West has 12, 13, probably 14 and East eight, because East East didn't but East didn't respond. No. So East can't have eight points. East has got five or so or, or less. So West has 17, but didn't open one no trump. In, interestingly, we look at this auction. East passed here, passed one diamond. So they got less than five points. Count again. All right, 14 and six, seven, eight. So we've got 20. Oh, we've got 22. So they've got 18. Yes, that makes more sense. So this will have five points. This will have five points. This will have 13 points. Yes. And this looks like king, queen, five and the king, queen. Of diamonds. Might as well win the ace. Really, I can throw away all my losers in dummy on the clubs. I've got four discards. But um, I'm pretty sure they'll cash a diamond when they get in. What do we think about the honours? East, looking at the missing honours, East could have a jack of diamonds, a jack of spades to go with either an, the ace of spades or the ace or king of hearts. Um, we've got eight hearts, so they've got five. We can hope they're three, two. question is the fact that we're in dummy, we could just exit with a diamond, which we hope West would have to win and then lead something to our advantage. If it's a diamond, then at least we get the diamond rough here and then we don't have to worry about the diamond loser because there's a slight worry that if we play on trumps and they're able to duck around the trumps and then win the second and third round, they can then make two diamond tricks because we won't have a trump left in the south hand. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can, and it, we'll see when they win with the jack. So we know that's king, queen, jack of diamonds there. And so now we're really interested in the ace and king of hearts and the ace of spades. And the Ten of Hearts is the real card that we could lose. So this hand opened the diamond in Queen Jacks. Boom. Spades. Very likely 4-4. Four, four because we have five and they have eight. And the ace of spades is most likely here, but it could be with east. So I could exit with the king of spades. They'd probably then come back with the queen, of, uh, with a spade to the queen to continue not to commit. Could cross to a club and lead a heart um, towards the Queen and see if East pops up with anything. Must be more likely 
marginally more likely that east has the tenor parts and more likely, slightly more likely to have length in parts because west may have length in diamonds, but they may not because they're playing five card majors and we know they don't, we're pretty sure they don't have five hearts and they don't have five hearts or five spades. So it's just a case of really for whom we're going to play of the ten of hearts. And it's going to be east. I need to do that first of all. I think I've got to give them another chance to go wrong or reveal that I'm going to play the king of spades because I don't think I'm going to get rid of my spade. So, so the ace of spades is there. Two of clubs. Okay. Well, I'm in dummy. There's the ten of hearts. Right. That solves a lot of problems. There's the king lost. Um, That was probably a singleton. So West probably has four hearts and four spades. They could have four diamonds and just the one club. Am I all right? So I can, what I want to do is carry on drawing trumps. Oh, they have the ace. Yes. Ace 10. So there's one more um, heart out. 10. I really want to be in dummy to draw the last trump. It's there. So that's right. That's all their trumps gone. My clubs are now all good. So I can claim making two hearts plus one for a hundred percent. Oh, and again, that one does surprise me. But there we go. Yeah, lots of three clubs. So we beat the people who played in clubs, the people who let them play in spades. So that's the real lesson of that. That, that was one of the things that I didn't take. It. I said, if I played in no trumps, my clubs would score tricks at um, 30 a time instead of 20 a time. And they... Um, but as we actually had another thing which we could play, partner could transfer us to a major and we'd still be scoring tricks at 30 a time instead of 20 a time. So that was a benefit of one no trump. But remember that one no trump in the protected position. So where they've gone one of a suit, pass, pass, you're only bit, you're showing a balance and in inverted commas. Um, no singletons anyway. Um, but you're not promising a stop in their suit. If you you overcall one no trump immediately over them, over the one of a suit, you are definitely promising a stop as well as 15 to 17 points. But in the protected position, one of a suit, pass, pass, one no trump is 11 to 14 points, and you're not necessarily promising a stop. Um particularly if they open one of a minor in a five card major system. Um, partner may well have that suit. But anyway, even if they run that suit and you are you may well still have seven tricks in the other suits. So that's the way to go. Here we are, we've got 15 points here. Um well in my way of thinking, I'm sure the robot wouldn't open one no trump, but if you're playing the robot system, you should open this one no trump. Two clubs, two diamonds, and here we go, two no trumps. So they may not have a four card major here, but this is the only way they can invite showing nine high card points. And what are we going to do here? So we know none of their nine points are in diamonds. So they're helping these other suits. So really it's saying if you're a minimum, you should pass. 
and I'm only got 15 points, but I do have six and a half tricks in my own hand. So I'm going to bid three no trumps here. It may be that they run the first five spades, but because partner hasn't promised a four card major. But if they don't, then we can be making nine tricks. So there we go. We have six diamond tricks, two club tricks, and a spade trick. And the only question is, should we up this trick looking for some extra ones and realistically they can still only take three heart tricks to go with their one spade trick if I duck this trick so I am going to duck this trick um, and just because I can't go down can't if they switch to hearts, they can take three hearts and hold me to nine tricks. But I only ever had nine tricks to start with. But here comes a spade. Now, unfortunately, I can't duck this one. Well, I could duck this one. But now they might be able to take three heart tricks and beat me. So I think I've done well to be in three no clumps. So I'm going to collect my tricks and just look to see see if they will make some poor discards so we had eight diamonds they've got five so they certainly they're, they're all winners even if they break five nil it happens at the moment in fact they've broken three two as we expect most of the time so what i'm going to Pay for here is throwing hearts from dummy. I'm going to throw one club. I'm going to keep. I'm going to start throwing hearts. I'd probably throw one club ultimately to keep three clubs in dummy so that they have one of them has to keep three clubs. So they've thrown one heart away at the moment. Now they've thrown a club away. I'm going to throw a club away. Just, so they've thrown a heart, a spade, and a club. Let's see what else they do. I'm going to start throwing hearts away. So that's two hearts, two clubs, and a spade. Just keeping the spade in dummy just to keep them honest. That's another club they've thrown away. And a heart. Right. So they've thrown three clubs away. Remember, we started with... Um, six clubs, so they had seven. So they got four left. They've got two left. And they still have one left. So we've got our nine tricks. Let's just see if they make a mistake in hearts. But they did. But it's not going to do us any good. Perhaps they didn't. But 85% is pretty good score. And it's got us into first place now. But, uh, yeah. Although the robot wouldn't have opened one no trump with my hand, I just think it, you know, it's quite logical. And even though the robot only had eight points when it said they had nine, but their aces are worth 20. So it was always worth it. It, you, it was very unlikely you're going to make exactly eight tricks. Um, the odds were you'd either make seven or nine. Um, nine was more likely. So that's what we did. One diamond for East. So. Fantastic 15 point hand. Void in diamonds. Suddenly, a two diamond bid would show spades and hearts, and a two no trump bid would show hearts and clubs. So, the robot system doesn't have a way of showing um, spade, a two suited hand with spades and clubs. The, um, there is a system called Guestem which enables you to do that. 
people who play it so often make mistakes using it that um, I wouldn't, I would hesitate to recommend it. So what I'm going to do here is actually, I'm reasonably hopeful that if I bid two clubs, it won't get passed out and I'll get a chance then to bid spades, which ought to show longer clubs than spades and a good hand. Let's see. All right. So I thought they'd gone to three, jump to three diamonds. I'm now going to bid three spades. Shows five plus. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Partner passes three spades, so they don't have anything very much. They part from five clubs, so you thought they might have wanted to um, get into the auction. Sadly, the Jack of Club, I mean, the Jack of Clubs is either Singleton or Doubleton. So I have no entry to dummy to get to that Ace of Diamonds to throw a heart away or to take a spade finesse. Five clubs has an excellent chance of making. That's three spades. It's not without its chances. So I have to win. They, they're not actually going to get any club roughs because they haven't, you know, neither of them has any more clubs. So remember, we had six, dummy had five, that's 11. So they had two and they've split one one. So if spades are, see, so we've got seven spades, so they've got six. If they're five one, we're in a lot of trouble anyway. So I'm going to lead at this point a low spade in the hope they might play a diamond when they get in because they can't play a club, but they'll probably play hearts. Um, and that's why I play the seven, probably win with the nine, yeah, and switch to a heart. And now they've switched to a spade. Well, in order to stop dummy roughing, essentially a heart is what they think. So the trick that they just led was the king of hearts. So they lead the king from ace king. East opened the bidding with one diamond. West went to three diamonds, which was a preemptive raise, only four to nine points. So this hand probably has ace king of hearts. This hand turned up with the jack of clubs. They raised diamonds. This hand is more likely to have four spades than this one. So King and Queen of Diamonds are likely to be split. How many points has this preemptive bidder shown? Four to nine total points, including five diamonds. Five plus diamonds, there's four diamonds there. This hand's got three or four, and this hand's got five or six diamonds. Because um, they have East open the bidding one diamond. So... We know they have no points in clubs. They have at least seven in hearts, maybe nine. And they have something in diamonds. But they know partner has five diamonds. They can see four in dummy. So they can count me for a void. If they have four and... Uh, they know I haven't got more than a singleton and the ace will take care of it. So 
they were hoping to cash some heart tricks. That's why they led the Trump. But they could have led the Trump away from any of their honours. But, but look, at, we I only had four hearts between my two hands. And uh, East doesn't have five diamonds because West has at least five. So East can't have more than four diamonds. Therefore, they don't have five hearts. It looks like West has five hearts and five diamonds and a singleton club. Which doesn't seem possible, does it? So they not have five diamonds? Did they do it? Did they make this preemptive bid just with four diamonds? No, they've only got one club. But five diamonds, five hearts, and two spades, therefore. Would they... So my one, my two club bid, they probably didn't have enough to bid two hearts. Yeah. So it looks like five hearts here, four hearts here. Five or six diamonds here. One club and one or two spades. East won the nine. Do we think they've got the jack or the king? They need to have four points and they turned up with one in clubs. So no more than two in hearts, probably. But they can easily have um, king jack of diamonds, for example. So there's no reason point-wise for them to have it. And they didn't go up with it. If they'd had the Jack Doubleton or King Doubleton, they might well have gone up with it. So I'm going to try the eight. And then they had Jack Doubleton. Right. So they got that wrong. And they had the Ace of Hearts. Right, seven of hearts, two of diamonds away. Ten of spades. So this hand had two spades, so this hand had four spades because we had uh, seven to start with. Um, we've seen two of them. So what we're going to do now is catch the ace of spades. And sadly, we're going to go one down. We're going to play clubs from the top until they rough with the king of spades. It looks like they're not going to rough with the king of spades. I'm just going to save it for the last trick, as the robots often do. So this won't be a good score, because we could have made an awful lot of tricks in clubs. 38. Why the robot didn't put me back to clubs? I don't know. We can make five clubs, it seems. And we obviously we can make three spades if I play the Queen of Spades at that point and don't lose to the Jack. Even though I play the Ace of Spades and don't lose to the Jack. So um and they were five five as we were as we thought in the hearts and diamonds. So let's move back down to second place and two boards to go. And another big hand. Nine, nine and eleven. That's twenty points. And a nice six card suit. Some people would say this is too strong for two no trumps, but really we want to be showing 
22 points because of this good six card suit. And I think they're right. So I think I have to open this two clubs on the robot system, two diamonds, two no trumps now. So I've shown 22 to 24 high card points. And really I'm worth that because this diamond suit is worth a lot more. Right, so let's see how we fare. And that's a nice, pleasant lead because this will set up a heart trick for us. A spade would spade would have set up a spade trick, but losing the, a lead to West is not in the future will not be a disaster. They can't attack Spade. So we'll play the Queen of Hearts. So that wins the trick. We still have potentially two entries to dummy in diamonds. So we've got six diamonds here. They've got four. So they've only got three. So if they're two, one, if I keep hold of the six and four of diamonds, the nine and seven can both be entries to that hand. Um, so I'm just going to try something here, which is, since I'm in dummy, I'm going to leave the jack of clubs and see if I can tempt a cover. No, nope, we don't mind losing it to West, who can't do us any harm. And there it wasn't. But we can't afford to let East win because a spade through would kill us. So I'm going just to see how the diamonds are breaking. We're making this contract, of course. That that's there. Yeah, eight there. So they're probably yeah, they are three and one. So, but the nine and seven are both entries now that they no, they were two one. That's fine. Yes, we had ten. So we, we do have two entries to dummy. Um but it won't do us a lot of good unless I play the ace of club. So I'm going to play, and I haven't got another entry back to my hand after that. So I'm going to play the ace of clubs just on the off chance that the king falls. It doesn't. So cash all the diamonds and hope that the spade is right at the end. And they have to give it to us. There's my nine tricks. Green or trumps, which should be reasonable. I'm going to exit with a heart. And hope that this hand has to play some spades to me. But I don't. So we don't. Wrong. The so three no trumps is only worth 53.6%. Is that because everybody's in three no trumps? And some people made an over trick, presumably <laughs> because they got a spade lead and five some people made five diamonds. Three people got there. Open two no trumps, bid three no trumps, and what opening lead did they get? A heart opening lead. So how did they play? They played the diamonds from the top. Use the diamond entry to take a club finesse. It's another heart. And they did manage an end play. So they, if they open two no trumps, they did manage to get an end play um, that I was trying to get to get West to lead away from the ace of spades. Still, so we're back to second place now. I need to do a little better. Three diamonds from east. Well, what on earth are we going to do here? Heartless passed.
we've got 12 points. East is third in hand, not vulnerable. So the preempt could be almost anything. Um, I think, do they know that? Seven plus diamonds, five to nine high card points. So if I had just a little more, I would, oh, with another ace, should we say, I'd certainly be bidding three no trumps here because we reckon to have two diamond stops. But we can't do that. Um, we could pass because we think three diamonds, we've probably got four tricks in our hand and partner probably could contribute something else. But double is a takeout double. I would certainly be doing that with a human being because I'd expect them to bid three of a major on almost any excuse rather than four clubs. But there is a risk that they will do that. There is another possibility which partner may make a protective double. The difficulty if we double is that they're going to be partner will bid clubs and then we'll be in a fair amount of trouble. They'll have five clubs when they bid four clubs. Um, because they can't have more than a, one or two diamonds, really. Because they've got seven and we've got three. So they could have three, but it's not be pest that pessimistic. So if they bid they should, if they have four hearts or four spades, they should bid three hearts, three spades. So it's only if they've got three hearts, three spades, one or two diamonds, and therefore at least five clubs, that they're going to bid four clubs. Um, and we might not be too badly off then, except we may get some diamonds roughed. The other option is that I pass. We think they're going down, so we will collect some 50s. Um, we know that North has some values in this. I mean, West has passed, so West does, has more, doesn't have more than 11. East only has up to nine, it says, so they haven't got more than 20. We've just got 12, so partner's got at least eight points. So. We know that. So three diamonds is going down, but we can't double for penalties because that would be takeout and partner bid four clubs. If we pass, partner is very short in diamonds, but will they have enough to double in protection? Will they realise that we have points? I'm not sure the robot is good enough to do that, that when they've got eight or nine points and singleton diamond, to realize that they should double. And that would give us a chance of playing against three diamonds doubled. If I double and they bid three hearts or three spades, I can't bid four hearts or four spades. So we have some chances of getting three diamonds down three. If I pass and partner doesn't double, which would be worth more than three hearts or three spades. I think I'm going to pass and just see if partner and hope that partner can find a protective double, but I don't suspect they will. Now, that's what I thought would happen. Um, I'm going to lead the seven of hearts here. There's a lot to be said for leading my ace of spades. I don't really want to rough get some roughs because I'm expecting to make two diamond tricks anyway. But um, so, so there's partners made a heart trick. Don't know why they're doing that. So there's a doubleton heart here. Oh, partner has the queen of diamonds. Okay, well, if 
We could lead another heart, which would force east to rough. That doesn't really do it. And then they've got to lead a black suit. I think we'll take play the ace of spades and see what happens. It gets roughed. So this is looking pretty bad. And they've got the nine of hearts as well. Well, but they've got no spades, seven diamonds, three hearts, and therefore three clubs. So we've got to try and get a club trick. Well, this will turn out not very well, since we could have made something at 60.7%. Wow. And I thought, because partner would have bid spades, and we ended up in second place. Um, it'll take a few moments just for that last hand to come up to see why passing was a better percentage action. Do you know how many people got too high in spades, did they? What, how many spades do we expect to make? Expect to lose two hearts, a diamond, and a club. Expect, oh, but spades break 4 nil. Right, so three spades doesn't make, so that's why. I assume, Let's have a quick look and see if we can now see other tables. Oh, people with four spades and went down. I believe we'll let three diamonds through with an over trick. Well, no. was there a way of beating it? I don't think so. Let's have a quick look at double dummy. No, whatever I led, they were always made from the contract. So when we go, I hope you found that interesting. Please do remember to like, subscribe and share otherwise. And uh, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.